All right, in this video, we're going to learn about the Agricultural Marketing Act of 1929. And here's the question for you. What else exciting and interesting or important happened in 1929? Well, there was a stock market crash in 1929 that is generally believed to be the beginning of the Great Depression. What you need to understand, though, is agricultural prices had already started to drop by this point. We're, we're down below our record highs during the Golden Age. And we've already had attempts to create legislation to try to do something about that. Well, the first one to get passed was the Agricultural Marketing Act of 1929. It wasn't technically the first farm bill because it wasn't a giant, the buzzword here is omnibus. It wasn't a big piece of omnibus legislation. But here's what the Ag Marketing Act of 1929 did. It created this thing called a Federal Farm Board, and it set aside $500 million. $500 million. I'll, uh, I'll look up uh, that number and I'll put it down in the screen here and show you what that would be worth in, in today's dollars. And that $500 million was basically designed to be loans. It was loans. The government wasn't giving anyone money. It was lending money. The government lent money to agricultural cooperatives and stabilization corporations. So these are private organizations that are not government controlled that get access to inexpensive, low interest government loans for the express purpose of buying up grain to increase prices with the hopes they could resell it later. And so this basically is our first attempt to really jump into agricultural markets and directly manipulate market prices using the power of the government to do so. And it, in essence, is the earliest version of what we would call today a non-recourse marketing loan. All non-recourse marketing loans are, are just schemes that we use to prop up the price by buying up the agricultural commodities. The idea here is we're just going to buy up as much as we possibly can and see what happens to prices, which should go up. And economic theory tells you if you add one more big buyer into the marketplace and buys up all the grain, it will send the price up. But that's not what happened. And we can debate why it didn't go as planned. But the reality is that it didn't work. And by 1933, that $500 million, and again, I'll put um, put down in the, a little screen down here what, what that is in current days, uh, money. By 1933, the $500 million was gone, right? The Commodity Credit Corporation, I'm sorry, no, the <laughs> Federal Farm Board, the Farm Board was completely bankrupt by 1933 because of the Great Depression. And during the Great Depression, agricultural prices dropped. Between 29 and 31, dropped, they dropped 40%. And they just kept right on fall, uh, falling. And so if you're, if you're a student in my class, I, I have these publicly on YouTube. Anyone can stumble across them. If you're a student on my class, the textbook that we use, at least for this semester, is um, Agricultural Policy in the United States. Uh, you can dig into chapter, uh, I guess it is probably uh, six of the textbook, and get some details, because the book does give some details, on just how much prices fell. And they were a lot, and they just kept right on falling. So they fell between 29 and 31 and just kept right on going. And again, the Great Depression's going on. And it wasn't happy times. There were droughts. Uh, the Dust Bowl, of course, happened in the, the, during this time period. Uh, we had land we probably should have never been farming, and we had a drought, and you know, we get these giant dust storms, and something had to be done about that. And that thing that was done was the Soil Erosion Service, which was created in 1933, which was then renamed the Soil Conservation Service. And that morphed into what we call the National Resource Conservation Service, the National Resource Conservation Service, or the NRCS. And in pretty much every county in the United States, there's an NRCS office. And I do believe I have that date wrong on the slide. I'll have to change that. Let me double check that date for you real quick. I think that date should be 1994. I think I just mistyped it, and I'll see if I can correct that on the screen. Yes, it should be 1994. I'll put the right number up here on the screen. And it's going to be a short video, so I'm going to wrap it up right there and pick up with the next video next time. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.